Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I have come across a website called IMI Prompt. This is a mid journey prompt builder website and you can generate mid journey prompt here with very ease. So let's see how we can do this. So they have iOS and Android application as well, but we will have a look at web application. So you can come to imiprompt.com, click on this web option. It will take you to another tab. Let's have a look what we have in the prompt builder section. So you'll see the first tab is a text section where you can write and add multiple text here. Then you have a filter section where you have a layout, techniques, texture, color, artist, camera, lighting, styles, themes, movies and games, architecture and fashion. So you can select any one of these and this will update the prompt. Let's see what all we have in the techniques. So inside techniques, you can see that you have a 16 bit 3D print, 8 bit alcohol ink and other things. And we inside artist, you'll see that, you know, we have multiple artists which we can select to generate our images. Then we have an image section, which you can provide it, which will take as a base image for our reference and create images. Then you have a parent section where you have version by default, the version is four. And then you have aspect ratio, chaos, up beta, stylized. So you can update this here. So you can click here and provide your seed. You can click here and provide a stylized value and so on for the other other fields. So let's go ahead and start creating some images. So let's start creating some prompts and we will test those prompts in mid journey. So for first prompt, I'll go ahead with a portrait of a woman with long hair wearing a white shirt. And in the params in the filter section, I will select lighting as backlight. And let's select camera as full focus. Okay, so I'll go ahead with 8K as well here and uh, full focus. Okay, so let's see how our prompt looks like now. So you can see the prompt has been updated here. We can go ahead and update the parameter as well. So for aspect ratio, I'll go with uh, 3 is to 4. Okay, here and click on this. So you can see aspect ratio is also updated. So let's copy this prompt. Come to our mid journey and give this. So our first set of image is ready. Let's see. Open this in a browser. So you can see that, you know, we do have a portrait wearing a white shirt, t-shirt and we have given this backlight, right? So that's how we can generate a prompt here. Let's try some another prompt. To reset, you can go ahead and click on this reset here, but you I'll just want to share one more thing in this filter section, whatever filter you have selected, you'll see that, you know, you have everything over here. Okay. And if you want to delete, you can delete it from here as well. So let's go ahead and reset this prompt. Come to text section for the second one. I want to use uh, another prompt where Mustang car driving through a busy street and for filter, I want to use vapor wave. So let's search for that. We do have a vapor wave. And uh, for lightning, I want to use a long exposure this time. Okay. So long exposure. So let's select this. And you can give the weight as well here. So consider that if I want to give weight as 1.2 for this. Okay. Or let's, I want to give 2 for this. You can give this. And it will update this weight here. So let's copy this prompt and test. Come back to Discord plus give our prompt and let's wait for the result. So our image is ready. Let's have a look. So you can see here we do have this vapor wave theme and a Mustang car and you have this light streak, you know, with the long exposure. So let's try the another prompt. This time I'm going with a woman in a red jacket and a scarf. In filter, I'll go ahead with movies and games this time. And let's see. So let's try this Apex Legends. Okay. And see what we are going to get with this. Okay. So let's try this one. This image prompt. And let's change this. We'll go with. So we have Super Mario Bros. Let's try that one. Or maybe Tekken. Let's try this. Or let's go for params here. Give a aspect ratio of 
3 is to 4 select this if you want it in an anime no we don't want right now so let's go ahead and try this so let's see what we are get, getting so with apex legend we are getting this image you know it has a comics theme okay so let's see for the tekken so here you can see that you know we do have this cool portrait image of a woman if you found this tutorial helpful and informative please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you have any suggestions please leave a comment below thanks for watching